Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today let's go through our video number 141. It is all about Pega Infinity latest update 24.2.2. Before going to the video, I would like to say that all the updates related to videos and any job opportunities you can find under my channel posts. So if you scroll down, you can see all the jobs that I have listed uh, across uh, my contacts and uh, you can do your predictions over here and you can participate in the polls that I conduct regularly. Before going to video, I want to share that I am available in TopMate now. So if you want some Pega career guidance or if you want some Pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview questions, whatever it is, you can reach me personally in this TopMate. You can book a video meeting with me so that uh, I can have one to one chat with you guys. Let's get started into the topic. So Pega Infinity includes an industry standard patch release. So the latest Pega version is Infinity 24.2.2 which is released around a couple of weeks. And it has updated a lot of things in this patch update and resolves multiple issues in uh, different categories. And the following are the categories that are uh, impacted with this uh, patch upgrade. Case management, cloud services, conversational channels, data integrations, decision management, low code application development, mobile, project delivery, reporting, security, system administration and user experience. And there are many updates as I said and uh, the top 10 most what I felt I have listed down but there are many things uh, over the update uh, PDF so I will give you a link also where you can go to Pegapedian and uh, read more uh, in your you know, respective areas where uh, suppose if you are working for a decision management application you can see that uh, decision management or what are the new features added so uh, my top uh, one is like nested JSON data transfer rule opens from service rest so previously when service rest uh, is there and we are having JSON data transform as a request if that uh, respective data transform is a nested one then we used to get uh, an issue like unable to open the rule so now they have fixed this so nested json data transform opens uh, from your service rest rule and second one parent case correctly updated when child case is resolved so in few of the scenarios there will be a case dependency logic right uh, based on our businesses so when child case is resolved then parent case should be updated and it should be resolved as well so in few of the edge case scenarios like uh, suppose the child case is withdrawn or uh, there are some exceptional steps in that scenarios parent case are not getting updated in 24.2.2 they have updated that and another thing corrected reporter browser sort i can display so reporter browser you it will be having many icons right so when we are sorting it we used to have an issue now this is being corrected added dss to skip security analysis check and server side validations error uh, specifies the field so when there are server side validations right in constellation the respective field uh, is not shown previously now those can be highlighted uh, with this uh, new fix and you know cascading drop down right so when you select uh, drop down a and which is input for drop down b and which is input for drop down so in these issues right uh, during cascading drop down suppose you have selected a but uh, that a input is not being sent to b and uh, due to which we are uh, we need to do a refresh or some logic and this is like uh, they have seen like uh, there is a synchronization issue so they fixed uh, that also as part of this uh, patch update and uh, help icon helper text right uh, previously uh, suppose your application needs to be shown in some localized language like uh, french dutch or german so this help icon text uh, used to uh, display in only english now that has been also updated on jwt token there is a security update and uh, busy indicator so this is a alternative text so they used to have indeterminate and that uh, text value also they have updated 
and uh, create focus highlight uh, create case focus highlight added and as i have discussed this is a pdf which gives you an incident number and issue number so this is also one of the most important uh, result assembly notification issue when assigned to work queue so a task assigned to work queue with goal and deadline updated to notify any when it reaches a specific time reached was not sending an email containing a prepared text body or timer expiration as expected investigation showed that py user identifier value for compose or respond message was set to the work queue name causing it not to pick the contact name specified in the work queue to resolve this code changes have been made to get the contact name in pz notify on reaching sla activity this is one of the OTB activity and you can see an update after uh, this patch update. So this is another one. Corrected the checkbox tooltip location by editing a delegated rule, then selecting import. The skip validation icon tooltip was displayed in blank area of the screen. Instead of near the checkbox, this has been corrected. The helper text also been updated to give more information about this option. This uh, comes under data integration. So this is also very useful persons who are using connect rest integration and uh, with the JSON format. So you added check for duplicate JSON case after upgrade JSON data transfer was mapping the clipboard pages incorrectly. This has been resolved with the addition of check to handle duplicate keys. So this is really a very good one because now the world is around the integrations and uh, JSON. So JSON data transforms as we know that uh, those are very useful for our integrations. I guess there is an update for guided tour also. Uh, so previously when there is a guided tour, once the guided tour is finished, uh, we used to get a blank uh, pop-up. Now that is also being addressed in this patch upgrade. So you can go through this document or the link I have provided. So you would be knowing the exact uh, incident number. Even though you don't want to upgrade your uh, patch version, you can ask the incident number with the PEGA. Uh, support team they would help you i believe and this is related to kafka kafka admin related operations use admin client catchy a very high count of java util concurrent time exceptions was seen after migration to external kafka for running the stream service the exception appeared mostly during lag calculation with the external stream or in environments with a very num large number of queue process to reduce the number of connections to the external node, the Kafka admin client connections will be cached to avoid timeout. This is related to decision management. So, uh, under decision management, there are like a lot of improvements, but as I don't uh, have much view on this decision management, I did not highlight those. And uh, this is also like pulse, so display case ID for tagged case in pulse. When a case ID was tagged in pulse on a case built on constellation, only the case label was running and not the case ID. This has been corrected. So you know that post to pulse is very useful to communicate between the users uh, who are working simultaneously on the case. So previously when uh, we can tag the respective user over the pulse, previously we uh, peg a is not displaying the case ID. Now this has been handled. And there are improvements in low code app development. So security updated for context paths. Cross site scripting filtering has been added for context paths. This is also being addressed. Few applications where uh, we are using mobile uh, apps and all, uh, they have uh, addressed a uh, few things like numeric keypad showing for iPad. The keyboard was behaving differently on iPad than iPhone with regards to number controls. On iPhone, the numeric keyboard was showing, whereas on iPad, the normal keyboard was showing. This was traced to the iPad modifying its user agent, which resulted in detecting iPad devices and has been resolved by updating the pattern used for now. User agent, this is a OTB rule. So if you are using a mobile app uh, with Pega, you can see whether it has been addressed or if you are facing, you can raise that issue as well. And this is related to project delivery, uh, like uh, import uh, support information for Java DA, JDS, pick list uh, troubleshooting documentation updated, OAuth configuration documents uh, updated to identify virtual operators, property masking documentation updated, so security improved for actions and mail. Security protections have been updated for the actions and email functions for reporting uh, terms. 
see this is also most important thing multiple filter values corrected uh, correctly translated localization was not correct when filtering a report on multiple selected values this was due to multiple values in the filters of the report definition being treated as a single value with comma suppression and this has been resolved by updating the log logic in the rr filters underscore logic control so this is very useful for the projects where we are using localization and uh, where we are giving some dashboards and uh, we are giving an option for the users to filter a few things and this one uh, is the thing so i added dss to skip security analysis check uh, so previously i did not explain you much right so if you see this after upgrade from 8.6 to infinity 24.2 when you switch the applications there is a slowness which is very visible so they have traced it and they are seeing that pz get security scope for app function which is not present in 8.6 and which is not running efficiently on database over 4 million operators so to address this dss security analysis task execution has been added to enable or disable the revaluation of the calculation Furthermore, work will be done to refine and reevaluate this function in a future release to reduce the impact on large systems. So, this is really very useful uh, with the applications, uh, with the clients uh, using different kinds of application and where we provide them like process fabric or single inbox and they can switch between different applications so that uh, users can see the performance we so fast after implementation of this incident and this is also added local so local support uh, has been added for ireland ga g underscore ie sweden en underscore se and norway in addition logging has been enhanced in date time to better determine if a local is invalid or missing if an illegal argument exception is generated in the pdc and one more important thing uh, i have seen is this one data view error clear and on refresh when a data transform used to populate the clipboard for integer field with a long integer that triggered a dx api failure for the data view the error was persisting after save or submit of the assignment this was caused by the error message existing in the different context so now they have uh, resolved this issue by clearing explicitly the error refresh action correctly triggered on change after an update an auto complete action set with a refresh section was not being invoked as expected there was an inadvertent side effect of previous work done to correct an unexpected reload after such and this has been resolved by ensuring the popover is marked as active so the on change will be triggered appropriately improved accessibility for model dialog you know that model dialog uh, where we will show an explicit uh, dialog for the users to capture something or do some action on it so focus was going behind the model dialog when the dialog was launched from the menu button this was a missed use case for the focus shift when the menu button is outside of the table and this has been corrected yeah and this is very useful for uh, our consistent ui behavior updated phone number validation handling when using constellation phone number field with a default phone number length validations and option to display the country code enabled the resulting validation was incorrect if the number enter began with country code for example when the us plus one was selected and the number was input some number the control was maximum to 10 digit phone number which is the correct validation however one was the input at the beginning of the number the field allowed 11 digits when the country code plus one was displayed the number in your it became 12 digit phone number instead of expected 11 so this is being corrected so the uh, uh, example uh, when you are giving for uh, us kind of country code plus one something one is being uh, added additionally now they have resolved this issue and we know that uh, we have seen in one of the video also in constellation views we can uh, display it uh, with a conditional base so with the van rule so a van rule configured in the field group was not being triggered as expected to refresh the view investigation showed and la old last update time value was being passed from the view component and this has been resolved this is also very useful so constellation things are many uh, challenges uh, that are faced in constellation those things are addressed uh, over here so if you're doing some uh, otb fixes or workarounds you can uh, 
resolve those issues by just giving uh, this update so i would be providing a link uh, where like uh, you can find this document also so in our video description you can see this link go to that uh, pegapedian page and uh, you can see in detail with this hope you have learned uh, new things in this video continue watching my videos thanks for watching this video hope you have liked the content please feel free to subscribe to this channel and check community tab for regular updates and click on bell notifications